Vectors are insects and other small organisms that transmit infectious diseases by passing them from one animal or person to another. Throughout history, the spread of disease through vectors has resulted in millions and millions of human deaths. Here are some examples. In the Middle Ages, bubonic plague, also known as the Black Death, was mainly spread through fleas carried by infected rats. In five years, it's estimated to have killed over 20 million people in Europe alone. Up until the first half of the 20th century, a disease called typhus transmitted by body lice killed millions of people around the world where crowded conditions and poor hygiene was present. Immediately after the Second World War, millions more deaths in Europe from typhus were only just averted by the widespread use of the newly discovered insecticide DDT to kill the lice on millions of refugees, displaced persons and soldiers. One of the most persistent scourges to affect human beings, though, is malaria, transmitted by the mosquito. It's been going on for thousands of years and has killed many millions of people. Malaria can infect anyone. It doesn't matter who you are. For example, it's thought that Alexander the Great, Genghis Khan, founder of the Mongol Empire, and Tutankhamun, the boy king, were some of its more famous victims. Because malaria is transmitted by mosquito vectors, we call it a vector-borne disease. One of the most effective ways of stopping the disease is controlling the vector that transmits it. It's simple, really. No mosquito, no malaria. That's the essence of vector control. There are different ways of using vector control to stop mosquitoes transmitting malaria. Mosquitoes need standing water to breed, so in Europe and the Americas, malaria has largely been driven out by systematically eliminating mosquito breeding sites. Today in Africa, where the biggest problem lies, nearly 700,000 people die from malaria each year, and most of these are children under five years old. For them, the best solutions at the moment are to use insecticide-treated bed nets to kill the mosquitoes and stop them from reaching their human targets as well as spraying the insides of some houses with insecticide. Over the past 10 years, this has resulted in a large fall in the number of malaria cases. Millions of people have benefited. So that's the business we're in, vector control. IVCC, saving lives through vector control.